It's been revealed that the latest round of Apple devices will be available soon. That also includes next generation iPad Pro models. While there is no doubt that this iPad Pro lineup will impress us with its anticipated performance, let's see how it compares with its two closest relatives, 2020 iPad Pro and 2018 model, which initiated current iPad Pro design trend. Hello friends and welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, rumors and opinions. Are you ready for first ever giveaway? It's not gonna be iPad, it's not gonna be an iPhone, not yet. However, moft case that I've recently reviewed, 11 inch version will be given to one of my subscribers. So if you already haven't, make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications. Hit the like button and leave a comment and one of you will get this awesome iPad Pro case. If you ever wanted a good website, a blog, a social network, a web store, and everything with elite class hosting, and look no further than my buddies from Ireland. Blackbeard Hosting. Simple, easy to use website installer, 24 7 customer support, real people, and more. Hosted on fast, reliable, and secure servers. Hey, even VPN is included. Check it out. One month free trial, no credit card needed. The link is in the description and in the comment. With digital markings code, you get 5% off. Blackbeard Hosting. Hosting as it should be. Back in 2018, when redesigned iPad Pro came out, it blew our minds with its bezel-less and thin design. Superbly powerful 8 cores processor, 7 nanometer A12X Bionic with 7 graphics cores, USB-C amazing display and speakers. 4 gigs of RAM were more than enough, yet having option to get 6 gigs if you opted for 1 terabyte of storage was a guilty pleasure for those in search for extra power. While it wasn't without its share of flaws, with its features along with the Apple Pencil 2, it set the standard in which direction tablets and overall devices for artists and design professionals should go. These models have been sold even today with 64 gigs of storage available for around 550 for 11 inch version while bigger can be found for around 730 or even less if you're lucky or if you're willing to spend more time looking. Two years later in 2020 its successor has arrived with a little specs bump in terms of memory and CPU graphics power. 6 gigs of RAM has now been default part of entire iPad Pro lineup. A12Z Bionic chip was just a subtle, more power efficient version of A12X, but with one more extra graphic core unlocked, ultra wide camera was added as extra for those who use their iPad Pro for photo or even video shooting. Base versions were offered from 128 gigs of storage. That was increased. At this very moment, 12.9 inch model can can be found for around $900, while 11 inch counterpart, I guess it can vary between $650 and $700. Bucks. For me personally, there was not enough reason to upgrade from 2018 edition, which I still use, and it served me just fine with some rare hiccups. Honestly, even today, if you want to buy a new iPad, but you want a bezel as designed with 120 hertz screen refresh rate, and if you're not some kind of a demanding user, I would gladly suggest that you go for 2018 version. 2018 iPad Pros will definitely receive updates long enough without a lot of loss, at least in terms of performance. Remember that the original iPad Pro from 2015 is still supported by current and likely it will be with the next generation of iPad OS. Not to mention you will have awesome modern and powerful device for less money. Now, it wasn't until this year when iPad Pro once again changed the rules of the game by bringing desktop class processor under the hood. The same CPU that powers latest 
Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air and the recently released 24 inch iMac. While officially based on A12Z Bionic, M1 is way more powerful 5 nanometer 8 core chip at some instances with around 40 to 60 percent performance increase that's a lot higher frequency twice as much l2 cache way superior graphics and obviously option to choose between 8 and even 16 gigs of system memory is a huge jump that makes you wonder who in the world will have any doubts which version to select super bright mini led display on 12.9 inch model for some may just be sufficient deciding factor on its own improved camera and better selfie come on honestly it's no-brainer if you have the budget you should go with the latest generation however there is a catch and it's been following ipad product line for a long time software limitations with developers on board already preparing its apps for m1 max this issue could be resolved anytime soon until those applications are fully compatible on ipad pro with m1 it's Specs though will not mean a lot. Truth to be told, the full potential of 2021 iPad Pro models will still be locked unless something truly happens on WWDC this June. While pros and hardcore Apple enthusiasts will still be eager to get the latest and greatest of Apple's hardware, users who don't need much power, who watch movies and playing some games without a need of ultra high end screen, web surfers, those who listen to the music, and who read and even do some office or creative work will still be satisfied with earlier models due to its still unused potential if you are someone that doesn't plan to purchase another ipad in next couple of years and you want something in the long run go for this year's models no questions asked but if you think that facebook netflix notes app will require that much resources at least in close future i think you're on the wrong path i believe that the ipad pro from 2021 is device truly made for artists and multimedia professionals and beside x Excellent viewing experience, thanks to mini LED, at least with 12.9 inch model, it really doesn't bring a lot to the table that will make average user to go nuts. The true value of this latest iPad Pro generation is yet to be unveiled in the future, hopefully this June. That's all, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications and you've just qualified for digital marketing's first giveaway make sure you check the links in the description besides some offers and discounts you may find apple products and accessories thank you so much for watching digital marketing channel my name is marco talk to you soon have an excellent day bye cyber ghost vpn surf fast stream anything face no limits hide your ip and stay secured up to 83% of discount with extra 3 months for free. CyberGhost VPN.